Bracing the winter cold, getting around on foot is the only option for many. Japan's weather agency has issued a severe snow warning for Tokyo. It's the first time in 13 years. For some, this is a novelty. But for the most part, it's caused havoc across the city, with 3,400 homes without power. The rapidly developing low pressure front sweeping north has affected much of the country's Pacific coast. At Haneda Airport, hundreds of passengers queued for reimbursements, others desperate to get on new flights. On Saturday, more than 600 flights were cancelled and many more faced severe delays. Airports in the west closed entirely as operators tried to clear snow off the runways. But it was no better trying to take the train. The snow forced rail operators to suspend services, including the bullet trains. Sections of the expressway were also shut. People are being asked to stay indoors. The public broadcaster says there's been some fatalities and dozens of injuries. For these students, that's not an option. Today, universities have been holding entrance exams. Several delayed their start times as students struggled to make their way there. But Sunday could be even trickier. It's Tokyo's governor elections. Locals could face a tough time getting to the polls with officials predicting another dumping of snow, up to 25 centimeters from now through Sunday morning. Katerina Mo, BBC News.